Hey y'all. Huh? So I uh, brought my kids to the park this afternoon and this park has a little free library and I'm gonna go see what's in it. Last time I came, it had like not much in it, but that was like right at the end of winter. So I thought I would show you what it looks like. It's kind of cool. So I'm gonna flip this around and show you. A little bridge and it looks like a little so it says hog flat that's the name of a little business here they make like i think farm equipment or something yeah what Hey y'all, so the past few days I've been doing a little bit of uh, filming a few different things so I thought I would do a vlog. So today I had to come to um, Fayetteville which is like a little bit of a bigger military town near where I live um, and I had to come here for work to do a class and so I thought I would go to Hobby Lobby while I'm here because I have a gift card so I went earlier and did a little bit of filming and I'm going to try to put in some clips. Yeah look at these. This sign. Is that not like so stinking cute? These are so cute. show y'all what I got um, with my gift card but also we have a second in Charles here and I thought while I'm out and it's just me I will go in here and see what I can find see if they have anything good so I'm gonna try to remember to video um, I forget like in Hobby Lobby I did a little bit of filming but then I get so sidetracked and like intent on what I'm doing that I totally forget to film so We'll see if I, I'm going to try to film a little bit in Second and Charles, but we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, I've got like a few little clips from some other stuff that we've done over the past few days. And I think I'll do this for a few more days and just put a vlog together. But yeah, I'm getting ready to go in Second and Charles and thought I would update you guys. And we'll see what I find. All right. See you in a little bit.
Hey y'all, so I am back home and I spent too much time in Hobby Lobby and in uh, Second and Charles especially <laughs> um, and bought too many books. So I'm going to have to be like no more the rest of the month. <laughs> but anyway, so my hair is like, um, but anyway, I, I wanted to show y'all what I got from Hobby Lobby. The books are, are still in my car and I will have to show them to y'all later because they are, um, quite a few and I don't have time to film that right now. I have church tonight. So I will show y'all what I got from Hobby Lobby. My Dr. Pepper over there. Um, I wanted to get some more like scrapbook stuff so I got this it is um, four seasons it's like scrapbook paper for all the different seasons it's got like, a bunch of cute stuff Valentine's Christmas winter Just, I thought that would be cute to use I'm working on scrapbooks in memory of my husband, like I'm doing one of our travels together. We travel a lot in our state, like we, we would take day trips a lot and did a lot of fun stuff like that. So I'm doing one of that, like our adventures together. And then I'm trying to do one for each of my children. And I have another one that I'm going to do in the future of our wedding and honeymoon. And then just a general one about my husband. So I have like several scrapbooks that I'm slowly working on. Um, I'm not a scrapbook expert. This is like just totally new to me. But anyway, I've been working on them for a while off and on. I don't have a lot of time to work on them because, well, I mean, I could work on them some at night, and that's sometimes when I do work on them, but a lot of times I choose to read or do something else instead. But anyway, I have been working on them slowly, and I bought that scrapbook paper. Then I got these, sorry, sorry y'all, this is crazy. Um, then I got these stamps, so they're clear stamps and the main reason I got them was because of this one right here it's affection it says affection it's the definition of affection that was the main reason I got them but they're cute it's like French words and um, anyway that pack of stamps and all of this paper craft and stuff like was 50% off stickers and all that then I got, this is another sticker book, um, Faith sticker pack. Like those. Those are cute. I got another sticker book. This is different seasonal ones. And I found these stickers. I like have a obsession with nutcrackers. I have started collecting them. And they have these stickers which were so cute. I love them. Aren't they cute? Got those. Got some black t-shirts and a roll of white iron-on vinyl. Um, I have a Cricut machine and I am going to try to make some, um, I'm going to make t-shirts for our church. We are starting an outreach um, to the homeless. So I've actually been involved in that before at the church I used to go to before my husband passed away. We were very active in that for several years. It was like a, the big chunk of what we did. Um, it was just a huge part of our life. I, I have, there's a lot I could talk about, uh, but I won't do it right now. I don't really have time. But yeah, well, yeah it was a very big part of our life. and. It is definitely my heart and where I feel like my calling is right now. Sorry y'all, but anyway, um, so yeah, so we were like really active in um, homeless outreach and ministry and it was the big chunk of 
the last two years uh, that we, um, before my husband passed away. So, we are, our, the church that I currently go to, there's a couple there that also used to help us out in our homeless outreach and we are really wanting to get back into that and find a way to um, do outreach and we are going out on the street Saturday and I want to make some t-shirts that say something like um, need prayer kind of like the old got milk slogan but I thought it would be um, a good way to minister like just say something like need prayer and maybe on the back put a Bible verse or something and just to let people know like if they need prayer they can come up and talk to us and we're there to pray with pray with them and um, just to talk to them if they need someone to talk to about Jesus and just feel like they need prayer so that was why I got the t-shirts and the vinyl I've got to do those for me and a few people at my church so that's what I got from Hobby Lobby um, I had a gift card that I was able to use and then I paid for the rest but yeah I love Hobby Lobby um man they have so much more stuff than Michaels does like so much more when it comes to the stickers and stuff like that it was really cool but yeah yesterday we went to the library and I think I'm gonna film I'll show y'all what I got later on I did not get a chance to yesterday um, I don't know when I'll show y'all that it might be tomorrow I don't know because right now I have some stuff I'm trying to get done before church so yeah all right talk to you later guys Gidget, what are you doing? It's chewing on my dress, Gidget. Hey y'all, so here I am trying to finish up this video. I don't know what it's gonna be like. So Tuesday the 9th was when I went to the Little Free Library and to the library. And then Wednesday was when I went to um, Hobby Lobby and Second and Charles. So I've been meaning to show you guys, do a clip of what I got from the library and also what I got from Second and Charles and it's been so busy since then. I've had to work and then just had a lot going on and Saturday our church did like an outreach thing for the homeless and then we had church yesterday so it's just been really busy but anyway I wanted to show y'all first what I got from Second and Charles and then I will show y'all what I got from my library book haul. So I'm gonna try to go through these pretty quickly because I bought a lot of books. So I'm gonna try, I know I can be long-winded and just go off the rails sometimes in my book discussions. So I'm gonna try to just quickly go through these and tell y'all what I got. I want to start with the two books that are my absolute favorites that I got. These were both new. One of them I recently saw someone talk about on a book call. I feel like somebody got it for their birthday maybe, but I can't remember exactly who it was. I, I'm not for sure. So anyway, these two books, y'all, they are just like probably some of my favorite books that I own. This is The Secret Garden and they are both by Harper Design and um, illustrated by Mina Lima. But look, look at this. They're just gorgeous, look at that. 
and then they what's really cool this is what it looks like is that they are not only illustrated so like they have really pretty illustrations but they also have like interactive stuff so here let's show y'all I can get this to work this opens up and it's it's like a map so that one's like a map of where she the state that she goes to there's just so many different things like this is so cool it's a little paper doll of mary i can cut it out isn't that so cool there's the key and the robin see isn't that so pretty y'all like really 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 it's just gorgeous so there's all kind of stuff in this like that and and so i read the secret garden earlier this year and i really enjoyed it the longer that i sit on it i think i love it even more and i'm trying to start collecting different editions so this one is just gorgeous like i love this so much then i got beauty and the beast y'all know i just like a couple months ago got another edition of beauty and the beast from barnes and noble but this one is another one that has interactive elements it's from the same publishing group or whatever but isn't this just gorgeous y'all it's got like this cover and then it's got all these interactive things it's got these illustrations but like this this right here this is it like stretches out like this and it's just so pretty And it's a map of the rich city. I've actually never read the fairy tale version. I've only watched the movie, so I don't know what the fairy tale, like the original fairy tale version is like, but I do want to read it. Some the lavish and never ending wardrobes of beauty. It's got like this. But anyway, those are my two favorite things that I got from the book haul. Alright, I gotta keep moving. So, I uh, tried to do these in order of just kind of categorize them a little bit. So, the next one I'm going to show y'all is the only other classic that I got. It is Louisa May Alcott, Eight Cousins. It's not pretty. just don't know what it's about really, but there you go i also got this bookmark it is looks like the spine of pride and prejudice isn't that so pretty i'm going to talk about the historical fiction ones that i got first so i got um this series by Gilbert Morris, I uh, actually, I found the first two like with the regular Christian fiction. I, I found the second two with the regular Christian fiction. The first one, I like got these two and then I happened to go check out the clearance area and they had the first one for a dollar. So this is a series by Gilbert Morris, the a Lady Trip Mystery. Um, and they seem really interesting so i'm looking forward to reading them i've read some of his other stuff um 
Sonnet to a Dead, Sonnet to a Dead Contessa, maybe, a Conspiracy of Ravens, and uh, The Mermaid in the Basement. These are all Christian fiction um, set in the 1850s in London. And I think they're kind of like mysteries, somewhat. So looking forward to reading those. Another Gilbert Morris book. I have another book in this series. This is the Wakefield Dynasty. This is, so he, he's written, he's passed away now, but he wrote a bunch of books, like a lot. Um, and so I've never read this series. I have another one in it that I found at a thrift store, I think, somewhere. So my, I think it's on another shelf somewhere. So I saw this one and I thought I would get it. It's book two, I thought I'd get it so I could have the whole series. Um, this is set in the 1500s in England. And it is called Win The Winds of God. Then I've heard a lot of um, things about Tamara Lee, I think is how you say her name. So she, um, I've seen Sarah Manzan talk a lot about her books and I think now she is just indie published but I believe she used to be traditionally published as well but I think now she just does indie stuff. She writes a lot of like medi um, medieval time period so these are set in the 10 and 1100s so this one's set in 1068 and this one is 1195 um and this is lady of conquest and this one is lady betrayed i believe from reading the front the inside i think she actually published these in the secular market back in the 90s and republished them like in around 2017 as um, like a rewrite, like a clean rewrite. One more historical fiction. This is an old book I read when I was younger. Um, this was a whole series called the Brides of the West series and it was like a mail order bride series that I, when I was younger, I really enjoyed. Um, so I just wanted to reread it. I don't know if it was exactly in my cup of tea anymore as far as just like what I would prefer reading, but I do think I would enjoy it just for like the nostalgia and, and stuff. But anyway, um, it's called, this one is about, each one is based on a mail order, mail order bride and this one is called Ruth. It's by Lori Copeland. She was a really um, popular author when I was younger and one of the authors that I read a lot of. I got three nonfiction books. Um, this one is called Evidence for Christianity by Josh McDowell, Historical Evidences for the Christian Faith. And this is a really chunky book. Like it's really thick. It's, it's about 600 and it's small print. So yeah, I don't know. It just looks really interesting. It almost makes me think about a um, textbook, but yeah. Looking forward to that one. And then they had a section of like the Billy Graham library selections. Um, I have several of them already. So I found this one that I don't have that I thought looked good. Bloodline, Tracing God's Rescue Plan from Eden to Eternity by Skip Heitzig. Heitzig. And then the last one, the last nonfiction that I got was um, The Best of Peter Marshall edited, compiled and edited by Catherine Marshall. This, so Catherine Marshall wrote Chrissy, the Chrissy um, novel, and she also wrote a lot of other nonfiction books, like uh, religious based books. And her husband, Peter Marshall, her first husband who passed away was actually the US Senate chaplain. And they actually made a movie about um, his life, an old movie. I've never read it but anyway he she wrote like some books about him and this one is she um edited selected messages from his sermons and compiled and edited them into this one book those are those and then all 
of the contemporary. So this one is called Restless in Carolina. This is by Tamara Lee, who actually also wrote these. This is a contemporary, and it is an older book, probably from, I would say, early 2000s. Um, then I got a Francine Rivers book, The Masterpiece. This book, My Aunt. She was a librarian for about around 10 to 12 years. We were talking about Redeeming Love a while back earlier this year, and she told me that this was actually probably one of her favorite fiction books. Um, like really one of the ones that she felt like was most impactful and so I've been wanting to read it and I saw this copy and picked it up looking forward to that um the masterpiece um and then I got these two books by Terry Blackstock so this is from the New Point 911 series this is my favorite series by her um this is one of my favorite series growing up for a long time the first book in it I considered my favorite book growing up so I don't have this so it's got like there's like two different editions and this is one of the newer editions it's um like more updated so I kind of wanted to get them all in the same edition and this is book four and five i don't think i had book four i'm not sure about book five because some of my books are in storage but i know i didn't have it in this edition so i wanted to get these um line of duty and trial by fire oh i got another terry blackstock book um catching christmas i've read i've heard a lot of good things about this Ushina talked a lot about it and just a lot of people on booktube at Christmas last year I think and maybe the year before um, I haven't read it it's a little hardback copy and then I got three books that I feel like I may be wrong but I believe I've heard Lindsay at BFCG talk about this author Krista McGee um, I may be wrong about that but I know I've heard someone talk about them and I feel like it's her these are I think these are YA pretty sure these are YA. Um, I got three books by her, uh, Starring Me, First Date, and Right Where I Belong. I had a bunch of box Gertrude on books, which I'm, which I'm trying to collect, and I got 10. I got 10 of those. So, yeah, added to my collection. These were really cheap anyway. They were like a dollar and something. So yeah, got all those. And then the other thing that I got from there were these postcards. They had like these collections of old postcards, which I thought was really cool. So I got four of them. This one is from Ridgecrest, which is a um, Southern Baptist Assembly, their campground in Black Mountain, North Carolina. And this is from the 1930s, I believe. But I got it because we have been there to stay like quite a few times. They, um, they, it's like their campground, but they also will let people come and, and stay there in their dorms, um, which are more like a hotel room now. Anyway, I thought this was cool because it's an old photo of what it used to look like. Then this is another postcard from the 1920s. I got these because they were sent to, like they were mailed, which I thought was really cool. Um, this one is from Raleigh, which is my state capital. This one is another one that was mailed. It has a message on the back, which I thought was cool. Um, and this one is also in Raleigh from Poland Park, which is a park in Raleigh that we used to go to when we were younger. We would go like on field trips and stuff. And the last one I got was another one that someone mailed. Um, this one is from also another place in Raleigh. But I just thought, I love stuff like this, like little snippets of history, like the message on the back. This is. 12 10 a.m. Wednesday was having a nice sleep until the bus driver decided to some a, a rest stop 
m most of Virginia, this state, and South Carolina will be at night. I shall not see their... I'm not sure where it is. Something. Going back to sleep again. Nighty. And then they sign their name. <laughs> anyway. It was addressed to someone in New Hampshire. So that was just... I just like reading those. It was like fascinating to me. I love old photos like that too. Especially if they have... Um, like something written on them. So that's what I got from Second and Charles. Okay, so very quickly I'm going to show y'all my library um, book haul. I had some books that I needed to return and they had a few things that I saw that I thought I would pick up. I, I've been trying to read more of my books so it really hadn't been much but they did have a few that I thought looked cute and I'd heard people talk about on booktube so I wanted to give them a try. The first one is A Fool and His Monet by Sandra Orchard. I saw um, Lindsay at VSTG talk about this book and she really enjoyed it so I thought it I would pick it up and try it. Um, this one I'm really interested in because it it make it sounds like a Hallmark movie like that I just watched. Um, it's about someone who is on the FBI art te crime team. She's trying to find her grandfather's killer. I don't know because they put this label right on the back where you can't read the whole, the whole thing. Anyway, that one is Christian fiction. And then I got another one by Sandra Orchard, which I actually have started reading, Deadly Devotion. So I know Lindsay also talked about this and then a lot of my booktube and Instagram, bookstagram friends recently read this. Um, Miriam, I think, read it. Someone else read it. Miriam and someone buddy read it. Um, I don't remember, but I know like two or three of my book two friends read it and really liked it. So I uh, thought I would pick that one, this one up too, and give it a go. I did a little poll on my Instagram asking which book I should read next since I had, I picked up like three or four and I just stuck those up there. This is the one that got the most votes. So. I am on chapter three or four so far. Then I got this one by Melody Carlson, Home Sweet Tiny Home, which this is so cute. Like, I thought that because I am living in a camper now, I have like my own little tiny home. I was like, this is what I need to read. Like, my hope is that if I ever do get my own place, I really would like something small, kind of like a tiny home, easier upkeep and just, that's just what I would like to have. So this one looked really cute and it's about a girl named Kate. It says she has a life that many would envy. Good job at a design firm, a huge house, beautiful memories of the late husband who gave her everything and two grown kids doing well for themselves. But it's all begun to ring hollow as she wanders around a house that's too big for her. So when she gets caught up in binge watching a show all about tiny homes, something clicks that soon has Kate embarking on a whole new life. So that sounded cute never read anything by Melody Carlson. I know she's really popular, has a ton of books, but I've never read any. And I found these two books. They were both new by Emma St. Clair. I've seen a lot of things about her also on um, booktube. Um, she does not write Christian fiction. I think she writes clean, sweet reads. So not really sure how I'm gonna feel about these. I thought I would try check them out and possibly give them a try. Um, Falling for Your Boss and Royally Rearranged. So we'll see what I think about those. And then I got a couple of like middle grade books. Um, this one is from Focus on the Family, The Black Art Chronicles, book one, Opening Moves. This one I'm actually really interested to read. Um, if you've ever listened to the Adventures in Odyssey Kids radio trauma series, this whole saga on the audio drama of this kind of good versus evil battle between the townspeople and this man named Dr. Regis Blackard and it was like a, spanned several albums and episodes and so this sounds this is like more of an in-depth look at that and it sounds really fun really really interested to read this I have a lot of good books a lot of fun stuff now I've got to get to reading 
talk to y'all guys later. Thank y'all for watching. Bye-bye.